What comes up for you when you hear the word money? Do you feel excited, open, expansive? Or do you feel stressed, anxious, worried? Or do you feel neutral, maybe neither here nor there about money? Or maybe you feel a combination of all of these, depending on the time of day or what aspects of money you might be thinking about. A few years ago, I created a program called Rewrite Your Money Story. And this is the very question that I ask people when they first start the program. What comes up when you think about the word money? And it's not just your feelings, but also your emotions, um, your thoughts, your results, the stories that you heard growing up. All of these come up around money. And I like to uncover these because when we come down to it, money isn't just about money itself. Money is actually a symbol or what I call a portal to the experiences, the feelings, the thoughts, the memories, and the meanings about money that we carry throughout our life. And so money can have a bunch of different meanings depending on where you might be. And sometimes those meanings can be contradictory. Some of those meanings can be conscious and then some of them can be unconscious. The meanings that you have about money and the meanings that affect your relationship with money are what I call your money stories. Your money story is the active beliefs that you carry about money that affect your relationship with money itself. And your money stories affect how you approach money in your everyday life. So if you're not where you wanna be with money, it might actually be your money stories that are getting in your way. But the question here is, are you aware of the money stories that are operating in your life? Are you conscious of them? With that in mind, I invite you to register for my webinar, What's Your Money Story? And in this webinar, you'll get to uncover the different money stories that are operating in your life. You see, before you can change your money story, it might help to identify the money stories that are currently operating in your life, especially the unconscious ones. With that, I hope to see you at my webinar. And until then, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Peace and blessings.